Good morning, you little escape scare artist. And hello, Miss Big One. Are you okay? Yep, she's fine. I don't know if she's hungry, but um, we'll probably pop by um, the pet store if they're open and get some cricket for her because those little ones I bought are not big enough for her. And that one is in right there. <laughs> so, uh, Robin and I and Paul are heading up to uh, the town where we might be renting that house for a period of six months or something like that. So, we're going there shortly. And uh, then after that, um, we'll cop, cop, pop up to um, the place um, who has that storage we might be able to uh, rent quite cheap to have some stuff standing there. Um, all my stuff in the workshop, we, I arranged with Lesser um, to have in his basement because they have a basement room which they don't really use. Uh, it's empty, so we're just going to get a padlock and put on there. And then um, we will um, put uh, like all the lathe and all that there. And also the work table. We'll try and see how much we can fit in there. Um, so that would be very, very nice. Hey guys! Um, emergency vlog, you can see the camera is much more shaky. I'm using my iPhone right now. Forgot my other phone, my other camera at home. We went up to see the house in that town. Looks alright, it's like a little bit dated, but we can't afford to be choosy right now. We need to get just roof over our head. Uh, again, the only downside of it is that this is another council, but it's very cheap. We're gonna get extremely fast internet, and it's for about five or six months at least. Um, so that that's the good thing about it. The bad thing about it is it's another council, and we don't know if we can do the uh, if we can get to stay there while being the same council where we are now. So that's like the issue we're gonna figure out tomorrow. The house is fine. The rent is much cheaper than we pay now, including water and heat as well. And uh, yeah, and the benefit of fast internet. Look at that sunset, guys. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. You don't get all the colors as we do with the real eye, but it still looks nice. Okay, Robin, do a tail whip catch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you. Oh, okay, have you done that? No. All right. Oh, dang it. People who want to know a little about Robin's scooter setup, can you explain what you got? I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Are we group? Um. Right now there's screw. A little bit. <laughs> and then I have ODI uh, ODI bar in. Um. Aluminium. And then uh, my bar. One sole. I think it's. Sixty. Sixty. Um centimeters high and then uh, 55 centimeters wide um, very good bar 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 uh, ba, not bar <laughs> bar and uh, it's very wide but I like it like that so SCS clamp uh, very nice I suggest it as well as the bar ba. <laughs> bar uh, bar um, and I like SAS it because it also makes um, the bar uh, five centimeters higher than usual. And then I got the tilt clamp. Oh, headset. Headset. <laughs> uh, it's a very nice headset. It spins very easy. Yeah, spin um, that shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I suggest that as well. I suggest all my scooters, but I don't <laughs> want anyone. You don't want a copy? Around. No. Um, Pick all the colors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, purple and silver is the main thing. I just have to shift out the wheels, but that's not my main priority right now. No, they're still fine. Yeah. Um, but, and then I got the, uh, the, uh, the fork. Uh, X and tricks. It's not a very known fork, but it's it's, it's very nice. It's, it's never snapped or anything. Bent. Um, yeah, and uh, it can take all three compression systems: SCS, uh, HIC, and ICS. Um, you just have to put a um, the star nut uh, into the fork, and my um, wheels and a cooter. Uh, 110 millimeters, but right now I think they're 100. 
they've been very small. I use them a lot. And then last thing, which is the best, the uh, Isaac deck. Uh, I don't remember how wide or long it is, but it's very nice. You can see my foot right here, and I have plenty of room. What? You got plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room. Um, the space. Yeah, space, and my feet is. Uh, Thing. It's uh, it US a nine or something. Yeah, US nine. Um, so. so yeah, I got a lot of space and space, a lot of room to move around. Uh, and the a lot of lot, a lot of people have been talking about the um, the brake, and that's uh, they say that it's very bad. It's like yeah, there's a little rattle yeah, in it. A little rattle, but when you ride and your compression is it's good and it's it's tightened. Uh, then there's no problem. I, just, I haven't tightened my compression. That's why. No, it's been a while since you've done yeah, it. The drop test is bad. It's been. Mine bad. is awesome. <laughs> years since I done since I done that. But you know. That's the Robin scooter yeah, setup. Yeah, and it's uh. uh five thousand Danish kroners. All right, so it's about a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, about a thousand dollars for that scooter there. Complete. Nine hundred thousand dollars. And that's not counting the bearings. No, <laughs> no I don't. Or the mop tape. Yeah, I think it's. So. Eight. Oh yeah, of course you ride mop mob mop tape. Yeah. So right now. basically now you've seen Robin's scooter and now you're gonna see mine. Slam deck. Um. My hood bar. Uh, ODI grips though, with mad bar ends. What's these wheels? I don't remember the name. No, no, I, don't I don't know. Maybe you guys can see it, but I had them free from a friend. Because my old ones were, they were okay, but the bearings died in them. Um, and he just gave me those instead. And another guy, of course, is Slam Quad Clamp. And the headset is the uh, IHC. Yeah. I'm heading over to our little local town to get ourselves a pizza. They got a pizza place there, and we, we like, we don't feel like cooking today and we don't have junk food very often so it's like, okay we'll treat ourselves to a pizza tonight so we do that um robert's been picked up by his dad about an hour ago um and we went out to see that house uh, in that other town it looked really okay it's not like like i would say it's not as nice as where we are now but where we are staying now is not an option to keep staying there we have to be out within like two and a half weeks but it was nice and we, we could have a lot of quick internet out there it was um it was all right Need just some updating, <laughs> but it's only a temporary place. We're not, it's not like a permanent move. But I also mentioned about that place we were thinking about having um, our, some of our stuff in storage, which is um, one of my parents' friends know, um, know the person, and he owns a taxi company. And he has like a nice, nice farmhouse, or oh, nice and nice. I don't know how it looks inside, but they say it's quite nice. Um, it might be nice. I like modern buildings. Um, so for me, it's like something very, very modern and new is like what I think is nice. But um, someone else might think that old and um, antique look is nice. But we'll see. But he said that we could, uh, of course, rent it somewhere up there to store some of our stuff. But then uh, my mum spoke with him and said that, uh, well, they only live go to move away until they find something else in town where they could live. And. Um, then he said, well, why don't they just move into my house? Because I am living with my new um, girlfriend and my house is basically empty. So that's like, what? And that's quite like larger house and it's close to our town and we don't have to do the dreaded change of the council, which we don't really want to because that means we have to change our doctor, we have to change our um, um, all our like social advices and everything like that. It's like quite a big job to just change all that. It's not just something you do. And it takes a long time to get everything sorted out, like five to six months. And that's by that time, you'll probably be ready to move back to Slaelse, uh, the town again. So it's like um, going up there tomorrow to see that house as well, and find out if it's affordable, because it's um, it's bigger, and uh, it's going to cost a little bit more, than, uh, but it's still going to be about cheaper than what we have now. So that is something we are looking into. But uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But... Um, I do apologize about yesterday's video, but uh, I didn't have much to record. Um, 
for once when I was out skating there were so many kids there so we didn't do much scooting um, and what scooting we did do was just like messing around really so <laughs> yep I have days where I feel like recording some days I don't and the worst part is that some days I have like oh I feel in the good mood today I'm gonna record everything and then I record like two minutes <laughs> and, and it's just so weird how it can be like that but that's a daily vlogger's life but I'm gonna catch you guys back home because I'm gonna go and order a pizza now yum 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 Can you guys see where she is? She crawled on top of my freaking lamp. <laughs> so I was like, you see little tarantula, come here. Come on. Ah! Jesus. <laughs>